Hello everyone, it's Friday here and I'm down in the studio just about to start work on the final piece for the Explore Florals course which I've been taking. It's run by Victoria Johnson and she's a very successful illustrator and designer and I've got to tell you I've had I've got so much out of this as an experience personally. It's really, really helped me think differently about how I look at plants, foliage, flowers, and how I present them in my work. So today I'm gonna to be showing you a bit of my process and talking about the paints that I'm using to create this particular piece. Stay tuned. The paints I'm using for this piece today are acrylic gouache and they're by a company called Turner. Now they're literally a blend of acrylic and gouache in that they have different components to them that make them act differently to acrylic or gouache. If you've ever used any of these paints yourself you'll know what I'm talking about but for those of you who haven't, a brief summary is acrylic dries waterproof and you can paint over it and cover up what you've done underneath. Um, gouache on its own sort of dissolves if you try and paint over it a lot like watercolour uh, but it dries to the matte finish and with acrylic gouache paint we get a beautiful mixture of the both. We get the lovely consistency of the gouache where it dries to this superb matte finish but like the acrylic paint it dries waterproof so you are able to layer over with these paints and I'd highly recommend giving them a go if you haven't already. They, they literally are my new favourite and I keep saying that and I'm sorry if I'm being a bore but I really am totally enamoured with them. So you can see I'm adding in a little bit of detail here. I'm using a white ink pen and you can pick these up quite cheaply from most stationery stores or art shops and I think you can probably get them on Amazon as well if you're shopping online. They're really handy for quick fast detailed pieces and it sort of saves you know going in with the teeny tiny paintbrush and using white paint to get the same effect. Done twice as fast and looks just as good. The nice thing about these paints is that you can work with them in a really loose style. You can water them right down, just as you can with ordinary gouache, so that they're almost transparent and watercolour-like. But you can use them more thickly as well, so that they cover the paper and the colours are really vibrant and intense. I hope you've enjoyed my first vlog. It was short and sweet, but I'm looking forward to making some more. It's now Saturday, it's the weekend. Let's go and enjoy some family time. Catch up with you again soon. Bye for now.